teaching even at a young age, we want to teach players how to get open, how they can get a shot that they can make. There's two things that can happen. One, they can get open with the ball, which is a one-on-one -on -one move, or two, they can get open with the help of a teammate. We demonstrated a ball screen, now we're going to work on screens off of the ball. We're going to try to utilize the same technique. When a screener sets that screen, we want them to be perpendicular or forming a T with the person he's screening. We want him to get nice and low and grab a shooting wrist. The onus is now on the receiver. If the receiver's man, the screen receiver's man, follows him, we tell him to curl. If the screen receiver's man goes over the top, we tell him to fade. Let's give a demonstration of those two things. Show me a curl, fellas. Sets the screen, curls, shot. Very good. Now show me a fade. Good job. Let's see those two one more time. Let's start with the curl. And now, again, the fade. Good job. The idea behind of these is teaching the receiver to read his man. Is your man following you, or is he going over the top? I think one of the best ways to teach offensive basketball is to teach two-on-two -two basketball, where you can work on a pick and roll and where you can work on screens. We also play two-on-two -two with a passer so we could set up a situation. The more they understand concepts, the more they understand the game of basketball.